Yannick Sinner, have you heard of him? He's a tennis player. He's playing in this match. He's wearing the red shirt, sliding there. A little cute. Oh, barrel roll saves it. Got to run to the other corner. Backhand, perfect shot. Oh, waves to the crowd. Ho-hum, opponent like, man, what am I going to do? This guy, just a solid fist pump. Watch this. Super slide there. That's fun. Barrel roll here. That's fun. And then... Pinpoint backhand, wow. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoy these, please leave a comment and say, I enjoy these. Let's get into it. Stepping up to the plate for the AA Arkansas Travelers is number 18, Hogan Windish. Bases loaded, 2-2 count, curveball, thank you. Blast that one to the berm in left center for a grand slam. His first homer in 58 games. No, that's not true. He had three homers in 58 games. Now he's got one homer. In this game. And he's going to go on to hit another one. 3-1 fastball. Thank you. Blast that one into the berm in right field. Two homers. Two at-bats. Six RBIs. In the camo. Looking good. He's an unranked prospect. That might change. Ranked in our hearts. Just absolutely tattooed that fastball. Next at-bat. 1-0 fastball. Yup. Thank you. That's a laser right over the wall. That right fielder's name is Church. Hell of an effort by him. But he did not catch the ball, and he lost his glove in the process while falling on his bum. So, whatever. You don't see that pitch. It looked like a breaking ball just by the swing he took, and he hammers that to the plants in dead center. Four homers in the game for Hogan Windish, the first player to hit four home runs. In a single game since 2022, not that long ago, it's two seasons ago, but the 15th four homer game in the minors since 05. Also, I like that. Look at that celebration. He's pumped up about it. Why wouldn't you be? Look at this. He's like, uh, yep, 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 yep. I can't control it. Yeah! Hogan Windish. China's U18 basketball team has a secret weapon. Her name is Zhang Zhao. She's tall. She's way taller than everyone else. It'd be like if I went and played, it's like me playing against my two-year-old son and it's not anyone's fault. Maybe they have to do it by height, but guess what play they run a lot? Pass it to Zhang and then she scores. Travels, I think. I don't know. Do they count that? Does anyone care about traveling in basketball at all anymore? Uh, well, let's pass it to the middle. Two honor. Why even put two honor? I mean, it's not working. They're pumped up about it. At some point, it feels like it's just not even something you can, look at this elbow. <laughs> Jang, no need. That's vicious. There's no need for that. Come on. Just collapses that girl's arm. Uh, in. Inbound play. Yep. Look at this. Look at this defense. Tenacious. You can't knock the effort. Also, Japan's somewhat in the game. They've scored 59 points. Does Zhang not play defense? Is that why? No, she's hustling back. I mean, it should be an instant bucket. They're so excited. I feel like they got to be watching this and seeing it all the time. They're like reacting like it's the first time. Like she just had a growth spurt. Uh, let's see where they throw it. Right to Zhang. Uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think I am. Soft J. Uh, okay. Is she going to shoot? Better not shoot. No, not going to shoot. Wow. She dishes to the corner, says, you put it up. No, I'll just get your rebound. Oh, man. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was just playing a little patty cake with the ball over their heads. Uh, it's, it's fun for some people not fun for others like I'd enjoy playing against people that were tiny for a second or two uh, I don't know if anyone's getting better they gotta size up eventually picks up her teammate that's enjoyable she's she's very tall the, the others aren't tall she's 7'3 she will be WNBA eligible in 2027 no pressure no pressure she was 5'2 as a first grader 6'9 as a 6th grader tall Taller than me. Okay, we go to Gaelic football. We got Derry versus Mayo. Mayo's never lost an elimination game at this park this century. They're up by four, but not anymore in extra time. They get it done. The game is tied 15 apiece. They're going 
crazy. Mayo, is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. Tie it up. What a good kick by Jordan Flynn. And they're pumped up. So it goes to kicks. And then Gaelic football just becomes the same as soccer. Basically, top left. Mayo scores their Mayo scores their first one. The crowd starts filling in nicely. Like, let's get a good view. Let's make it look better. Lefty, he goes to the right, one to one. Last time we did this, there was a lot of saves. Is that a save or did he hit the post? Uh, post. Ooh, the announcer said, goes for the daisy cutter. And I liked that. I liked hearing them say that. That's top left. Seems like top is the safer way to go. Bottom right, easy peasy. Okay. Oh, did he get a finger on that or did he just miss? Bottom left, no good. Don't try that. Just missed it. All right, big save coming. Yup. Bottom left, don't do it. Huge save by Oren Lynch. Look at that. He actually overcommits and gets it with his knee. And okay, here we go. They each got a kick left. Derry's got three, three apiece. But Derry's got one more kick. Connor, Darity, the crowd really filled out, huh? Here we go. Where's he going? Oh, the keeper got a hand on it. Oh, that is brutal. He guessed right. He had it, gets a hand on it, but can't block it. Oh, that's sad times for him. Derry become the first team to beat Mayo at McHale Park since at least 2007 and been 100 years since they lost an elimination game. And they're getting pictures and they're giving thumbs up and they're happy about it. Does the name Bernadette Carla Bello mean anything to you? Well... Maybe it will. Here's some fun facts. Bello is second in this entire tournament with 30 goals. What tournament, you ask? Well, the Under-20 Handball World Championship. She plays for Angola. This is the African Derby. They're tied at 22 points apiece. There's eight seconds left. She's going for the buzzer beater, trying to get her open. She's got the most goals. She's got the most attempts. She gets wrapped up there. And Guinea is celebrating because the buzzer went off, but the official is saying, no, 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 no. That wasn't cool what you did. So she gets a free shot. Bernadette Carla Bello or Bayo, whichever one you want to say. No, whatever she prefers and fake and in. Of course, she's going to score. She is BCB and they're not. And they're, they're, they're upset. Guinea's upset. But that's that's fine, and that's you're supposed to be upset when you lose and happy when you win. Although CBC, she's kind of whole hum about the whole thing. Like I said, she's exhausted. She's tired. She took a lot of shots, led the whole tournament in shots. They win. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. This was chock full of stuff you missed that you never planned on watching. I've been Jimmy. You've been you. Who's the fan of the week? Let us know. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed to the channel but you find yourself watching these, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Adios.